Hey everyone, today I'll be discussing this week's topic of affect and media. Affect can be viewed and defined differently by a number of people, but for the sake of keeping this vlog straightforward, I'll be focusing on the works of Jennifer Fibers, Brian Masumi, and Susanna Personen. This is because their ideas are the most relatable to my own personal understanding of effect and its connection to the course itself. So at a fundamental level, effect refers to the general way things affect and are affected by each other on a worldly scale and both our feelings and emotions. However, theorists such as Masumi try to go beyond this basic definition and explore how effect can be interconnected with media and our own personal experiences with the world around us. Masumi states that effect is everywhere and that it's a series of intensities which transform our bodies as well as the world itself. In regards to the course itself, um, this is very true because as we've seen, media and communications aren't just basic tools for us anymore, but they're rather software in which we actively engage in on a day-to-day ba -day basis. Um, an interesting quote I found of his was, when you affect something, you are at the same time opening yourself up to being, to being affected in turn. This is definitely the way I view effect. The idea that our experiences don't only affect us, but others around us. The video of the Thai commercial in the lecture conveyed this greatly to me. You know, the man interacts with these strangers, doing all these kind things, and by the end of it, not only are the people he interacted with, but he himself is positively affected by the experience. And in terms of commun media and communications, I think that they try to encapsulate this in a way and manipulate this type of effect. Um, for instance, Susanna Personen looks at network media and how our usage of social media brings about effective intensity, which alters our connections and disconnections between different bodies. And as you know, we've moved into the third media revolution and the whole web 2.0, where we're not just users of media anymore, but we're also producers. Uh, Susanna explains uh, that we're part of the technical, technological environment and that our experiences aren't just explicitly with other people, but also with images, comments, videos, and algorithms within social media itself. Jennifer Pipers also expands on this idea through explaining how Facebook users have a sense of effective meaning through our affiliations with particular people and content provided by the site. And as a millennial myself, I can definitely resonate with this viewpoint. I think that we're constantly being affected and affecting others when using social media. You know, it's not just going on Facebook anymore. It's being influenced and affected by the content on Facebook, even if it is our own. Um, in terms of the three theorists, I can see that effect isn't as simple as just our emotions or our feelings but rather it's a concept which looks at the processes of which media communications and how they influence us and affect us in a way. Um, overall, this week's lecture was pretty well explained, albeit somewhat confusing. However, I do wish there was just one clear-cut definition of effect for the course, but in looking into everything, I can understand why that's not the case, and how Andrew wants us to expand our thinking more broadly and critically. You know, it affects a broad term. It can be used through a number of situations. So, yeah.